hello guys welcome to my channel you are watching how to fix tech friends in this video i am going to show you how to fix internet is not working after windows update whichever version you are using steps will be same for all version like windows 8 10 and 11 without wasting your time let's begin first we need to use the windows troubleshooter which is by default an effective tool for repairing all the issues to use the windows troubleshooter you need to click on start menu here then you will see settings gear icon click on that you need to click on network and internet option here this is now you can see this not connected you are not connected to any device click on troubleshoot here this is by default tool and it is the best tool to repair automatically all the issues is click on all network adopters here then click on next in my case troubleshooting could not identify the problem so close the troubleshooter if your issue is fixed then okay if not move to second method in this method we are going to obtain an ip automatically sometime manual ip can conflict this issue for obtaining automatically ip you need to click on here wi-fi icon then you will see network and internet click on that now you need to click on change adapter options now you need to click on connected network or which you want to connect if you are connecting to ethernet you can click on that in my case i am connecting to wi-fi you need to right click on that and go to properties here now you will see small window you need to click on internet protocol version 4 tcp and then click on properties now make sure this should be checked obtain an ip automatically if there is any manual ip here you need to click on that and also click on this one obtain dns server automatically click on this and then click on ok now close it and one more setting you can do click on it and right click on it disable it first now you can see this is disabled now again click on it and enable it enabling and disabling will refresh its setting now close it and close this as well and try to connect with the wi-fi if this did not fix your issue move to third method in third method we are going to update driver outdated or wrong driver can cause this issue you need to check and update the driver for that right click on start menu here then go to device manager you can see now you need to click on network adopters expand this now you need to click on wireless adopter here right click on that click on update option then browse my computer for drivers then this one let me pick from a list of available drivers and now choose the latest option here in my case i am choosing this one then click on next now you can see window has successfully updated your driver close it and you need to restart your system if your issue is didn't fix with this one you need to click on right click on that and uninstall the device then uninstall it and again restart the system you will get your driver automatically here after restarting if three method did not work for you we have another method for you in this method we are going to reset our network setting sometime wrong configuration or dns setting can cause this issue we need to troubleshoot this or we need to reset this we need to click on here start menu then you will see here option settings you will see network and internet setting here click on that 
now scroll it down and in the bottom you can see network reset click on this now if you have installed vpn in your system you may have to reconfigure it but now click on reset now and then click on yes you need to click on yes after that you need to restart your system if any bad configuration is done inside your system your issue should be fixed you need to go to further step which is clean boot sometime many programs run in the background you need to stop that press window plus r button here and right here ms config click on ok now you need to go to services tab here and you can see all the services are running here or all the services is not necessary you need to click on hide all microsoft services here like this now you can see these are the extra tasks or extra background apps which are running in the background you need to click on disable all like this and then hit apply and then ok now you need to restart your system if clean boot did not help for you we have last fix for you uninstall the update which you have installed in order to uninstall the update you need to search on here control panel then click on that now we need to go to programs and feature make sure liars icon should be chosen now you need to click on view install updates here and click on install date make sure it is selected like this and now you need to click on latest update and click on uninstall and after that follow the all the process and then restart your system your issue should be fixed hope your issue is fixed if your issue is fixed then hit like subscribe and share Thanks for watching how to fix that.